welcome teens and our friends and family, uh, everyone watching this video. My name is Lester Mead. I work with the youth ministry uh, at Valley Christian, and we're doing a series on connecting with God. The I hope everyone's had a, a, a great week. Uh, I've definitely had a, a great one. I've just learned a ton uh, just through life. Uh, it's ups and downs uh, through scripture. And that's really what we're going to talk about today is really connecting uh, to God through uh, our Bible study. But I just wanted to recap a little bit about what we've covered the last several weeks. In connecting with God, the first thing we talked about is just taking time aside every single day, uh, away from the worries of the world and all the things that entangle our minds, and just thinking about God and, and having that lead us to pray. <clears throat> um, and then after that, we talked about how our relationship with uh, our parents, especially those of us uh, uh, that are teens, our relationship with our parents can really help us to understand our relationship with God because uh, Jesus taught us that when we uh, pray to God, we refer to him as father. So that's the kind of relationship that he wants to have with us. And then last week we shared about um, some of the, the good things and bad things that can happen when we use our parents uh, to grow closer to God. One of the good things that happens is we can see all the great qualities in our parents, and those can really encourage us and strengthen our relationship with God through those. But our parents aren't perfect. And sometimes what that can actually hinder uh, our view of God, thinking that God is uh, the same, uh, similar to our parents uh, in those things, but God isn't. He's perfect. So if we think our parents are great, God is even greater. If we're kind of disappointed in some areas in our parents' life, it's okay, because uh, God uh, um, loves us even more than our parents do, and it's pretty amazing. Um, I, uh, I wanted to wait to do this video until I uh, came up to uh, our cabin that we stay at, cause just because I wanted to provide a little bit of different scenery, uh, and also uh, just wanted some time to, to look at the stars and, and gaze, and wonder, and even have some of that personal time uh, that I talked about uh, thinking about God. Uh, go ahead and turn your Bibles to Acts chapter 17. And uh, I, I want to share a little bit about uh, something that uh, Paul uh, shared uh, with those that he met in Athens uh, when he was uh, reasoning uh, there about how people can really connect with God. And uh, uh, I don't probably most of us haven't been to Athens before, but it, it's in Greece. Uh, a lot of times when people go there today, they go there to see all the ruins, and there's so many things you can see, just there's so much history there. Now, when Paul was there, it was about 2,000 years ago, but it already had tons of history. Now, the city was known for uh, scholars, education, but they had really been just seeking just what life was about. Uh, and they, they reached up to, they, at the, the same way that I stared at the stars tonight, they would stare up the stars and it's like, how is everything created? Uh, who is watching over us? Uh, and they had ideas of several different gods. Uh, at the time that Paul was there, uh, there had been for hundreds of years, uh, temples that they had built to, to worship. Uh, they had obviously the Temple of uh, Athena, since it was Athens. Uh, they had a temple for Apollo. And probably one of the most recent ones was about, uh, probably just under 200 years old at the time, was uh, the, the Temple of, of Zeus, the Cloud Gatherer. Uh, so they were really trying to, to find out who's the guy in charge. Now, the Apostle Paul um, was very bold in, in his reasoning, and you'll really see this uh, as we uh, as we read this this uh, this section of scripture in Acts 17, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start in verse 24. Now, just the the context of this is uh, Paul talking to people that had been reaching out to to discover uh, who who created the world, who's watching over them for hundreds of years, and this is how what he presented to them. In verse 24, it says. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. From one man, he made all nations that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out the appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him 
and find him, though he's not far from any one of us. Now, when we read the Bible, one of the, probably one of the biggest things that we're looking for is who is God and how do we connect with him? Now, this is what the, the Athenians have been doing for hundreds of years, and uh, it could have been a little offensive what Paul was first bringing to them because they had built with their own hands these amazing temples. And for us today, 2,000 years later, wouldn't it be really easy if we knew exactly where God was? We can just travel there, go talk to him, connect, kind of have a conversation, just like what we talked about is growing in our conversation with our parents to kind of, as a practice for trying to get to know God a little bit more, is wouldn't that make it easier? We just knew exactly where and when to, to go talk to him. And, uh, and that's kind of what the Athenians had set up. They had set these temples that when you wanted to connect with the gods, you would just go to this temple. And... Paul kind of turned that whole theology uh, over, uh, and he said, it's not that easy. Uh, one, uh, God created everything. You don't have to look in multiple uh, locations or for multiple gods. There's just one God. Uh, but for us, we have our entire lives to seek him and reach out to him and connect him. We're not going to have all the answers in five minutes. We can't just go to the library or go to a temple and have all of our questions about life answered right away. It's a life's pursuit in connecting with God. But we do know that we don't have to travel anywhere because he created everything and he's with us. Uh, so in that time that we set aside every day, as we think about God, as we strive to pray to God, um, let's really seek him knowing that it's not going to be a one-time event, but it's going to be a continual event. Just like when we read the Bible, uh, it's a pretty big book. We're not going to figure it out in one setting. It's going to take uh, just a consistency and a lifestyle and a lifetime of discovery. And every day we live our life as we connect more through prayer, through reading scripture, through life experiences, good and bad, uh, we're going to, those are going to be our opportunities to seek God and draw closer to him. Let's pray together and, uh, and uh, let's, let's really strive to connect with God this week. Let's pray. God, we are so grateful that you love us, that you chose for us to be at this time in this location. Some of us are having very difficult times. Some of us are having the times of our life. Uh, some of us are going through uh, some challenges. Uh, some of us, maybe some things are, are seeming more easy uh, now. Uh, maybe we're just relaxing, watching YouTube, relaxing. Uh, maybe school's a lot easier. Maybe school's more difficult. Uh, but through all the things that we go through, God, we just want to connect with you. God, when things are tough, we want to connect with you. When things are easy, we want to celebrate with you. We want to share uh, great things with you as you're sharing good things with us. But God, I pray that you would just be with us as we pursue you. We know that you want to be found by us. But God, I pray that in all these things that we do through uh, just thinking about you, through praying to you, through reading the Bible, through being taught by our parents, through growing in our relationship with our parents, through just pursuing you and all the, the, the challenges that we go through life, God, we just pray to connect with you more and more every single day. We love you so much. God, thank you for loving us and giving us this time. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see everybody next week.